just decided to like drop this in as a bonus to the mentorship course but this is basically more of like a swing strategy first of all what do we do we measure like let me see let's start from yeah okay no okay let's start from like here yeah, now you can see that oh what you just need to do is to be drawing your supports your support uh, later i'll explain to you why i'm drawing it why i drew this one here so just keep on marking just keep on marking just keep on the support and also resistance so this guy Like most of like basically once a new eye forms or like a new look forms, you just have to like mark it out. Then this is where I'll show you. I'll show you how you can get to like validate it from the second touch. If you see a new look or a new eye forms in the four hours, just mark it. Just mark it just mark it just keep on marking it. keep on marking it don't stop marking it then i'll show you how you can validate the zones how you can validate your zones to make sure that oh this zone is valid from the second touch okay i believe we can work with this okay so we can work with this okay this this trend I, basically i don't really like trend lines let me know like but recently there's this stuff i was working on i find myself i was just finding myself using trend lines but i don't really like trend lines at all so after we're done like marking our zones and the rest then i was not aware of this stuff for uh, the chat <laughs> after we're done marking our zones what do we do we you saw the way I marked the zones, right? Okay, I was meant to explain something for you guys. The reason why I marked this place instead of this guy, they give me double my. The reason why I marked this place instead, you would have told me, ah, this is the eye now. But if you observe, if you observe, see, this candlestick, we can move here, here to this place. For a fact that this um, candlestick did not like form above the wick, so literally this was the eye. This candlestick, this wick now that tested, is just like a quick retest. In the lower time frame, in the lower time frame, this stuff would appear like this. So it would appear more like this. If I did this, then. There's a little pull back from here, like more of like a double top. You get twice so this. You get no twice so did this. But around this region now, it's then before price started coming down. But around this region now, there was like rejection. That's why you are now seeing it as weak here. So this was literally the highest point, but this candlestick now was not testing it. If it would hold or it would break it, you get. So that's why I had to like mark this place. That's why I had to like mark that zone out. You get. So let's fast forward. Let's move on. So after we're done marking the zones, after we're done marking the zones, you can see beautiful zones being marked. This one, two candlesticks close, like the, this candlestick close prominently. 
and they did not like with this candlestick did not like retrace immediately no, no, no. so there was something going on within this blue candlestick so that's why i marked my zone you can observe same thing i did yeah you can observe same thing i did yeah it's the first touch that matters first of all then i'll now show you the way to validate your trend line and how to enter a trade as low as using 10 pip stop loss you know i love 10 pip stop loss so let's move to 30 minutes i would add this stuff as a bonus course as a bonus study material to the mentorship course because i want the, men the whole idea of the mentorship course was just like a baby something to like uplift you to like show you that oh it's possible and you can really do it only that you will just have to like sit on your hand because you know what you are doing you will have to wait for your setup to like play so while you are waiting for like your setup to like play sometimes in a week you might not see like a trade using the main strategy but this one now can literally keep you going because you just place one trade then you just have to keep on managing the trade in profit so i try to like introduce you guys to this swing but i want your main priority to be the main strategy i'm not much of a swing trader but i just had to like expose you people to it so i've been using this strategy for like roughly six months now and it has been beautiful i didn't want to like show you guys my main shot because i would have to like start marking up the process again and i don't want to delete the previous markings i had it's the same thing but if i get to like delete it you know it's years of data and like it's about six months of continuous adjustment and stuff like that I don't want to because after the course now that go back to like arrange my shot the way I love it to be. So this is the 30 minutes now. After a new eye was formed here, yeah, a new logo got formed. Okay, this was the first interception. See so what you do here. Yeah. On observing this thing, you would observe the price moved directly. Then it got its first impact, impact touch on the line, on this candlestick. But we did not see any pullback yet. Like, if you observe, oh, there. If you, there's one two I meant to like shoot. <laughs> then if you observe from here now, you see we immediately price touched it's rejected then it, but it, the next candlestick was now like still pushing down so this was the main this candlestick here was the main candlestick before there was like a major pullback so what do we do we mark out the wick of the candlestick like it's just so beautiful it keeps on playing over and over and funny enough is that this stuff it's what if you enter a trade using this strategy it's just so beautiful because like it's just so beautiful it gives this happiness when it starts playing in your favor and it keeps on playing so what do you observe from here you can observe that see price is here price moved up so we want this to play one two Then, but what you would watch out for you don't want candlestick to close outside immediately like any candlestick close outside this whole uh, this whole zone now is invalid i mean on the second touch you know the first touch is just random top and bottom that candlestick formed in the four hours then when you switch to the sec the um 30 minutes when price gets to any of those lines that you marked that's when you will not get to like validate if that support or that resistance is meant to stay you get and how do you validate if it's meant to stay is by observing this stuff i'm telling you now once you see, and immediately i don't like why you are validating the second leg 
you can still place a trade the beauty of it so we don't have to like we we'll start waiting for the third leg and stuff like that so as you see price have moved this movement price have moved this movement then price came back to touch this trend line but i don't really like the candlestick this candlestick that touched it is massive like it's really really massive really really massive really really massive so i would not really like want to like go in with that candlestick i would have won't prefer like an engulfing but just for like oh maybe based on you know sometimes you might get really curious you want to like enter immediately so immediately this price touched i might be i would be really skeptical not really might because of this so i'd want to like wait for the next candlestick to like drop then i would now this is the next candlestick but this stuff is not a perfect rejection let me say maybe i was like overzealous but i would never enter like this because this is not a like perfect rejection candlestick you get if you remember in the either like chapter section two of the course we discuss about reversal candlestick and reversal patterns this is not like this is not a reversal candlestick the body is too big then we we'll just keep on washing we'll keep on washing this is tuesday 27th 2022 december then price opened with like a gap price test that same this week again price tested it but i did not really like it like it's the beauty of this strategy is that it works with different currency pairs so you can just like keep a tab of like two to three or four uh currency pairs to like wash out for you get so once you get that in mind you don't really like have to like push yourself into like any trade like that so we can look i don't really i know i don't like this i don't like this i don't like this i don't like this this ones now are trying to like that bearish candlesticks but you, immediately i see this engulfing hey god knows everyone knows everyone knows you know i love engulfing anything engulfing i love engulfing then another way you can verify that yes what you are doing like you are on the right path you bring out your rsi rsi this 14 14 rsi 14 then you bring out your rsi the points of your interest now did it create like a divergence yes it did uh, let's draw out our divergence let's see let's see let's see uh, we don't we can use the body here let's see so you are seeing it now like literally a divergence supported our entry so automatically me i like 10 pips stop loss i like that ah, i love 10 pip stop loss so with this 10 pip stop loss now i can literally risk one percent of my accounts and based on the fact that we have drawn the second there's another like there's a resistance at the top now that will be like our projection you get but if maybe you are scared you can use this structure here uh, like you will just be observing your chat you can use this structure here but me basically i would use this tip but sometimes if you just enter my head i would use structure then what do you do immediately you enter your trade what's the nearest zone close to it this price point here uh, we can keep the rsi back what's the nearest zone close to it it's this price point immediately price closes above it like twice one look at it here one 
you can see the first closing outside two then you're allowed to break even and that's just it just uh, immediately you're done breaking even you can just leave your trade to play out you get you can just leave your trade to play out this is on the one as i believe this long candlestick is because of a news and basically mm, I don't really like news but if I'm when I'm using this strategy I don't really care about news like that but on anticipation of the news and you come to this place and you see that oh see you this massive rejection candlestick guy I'm out of that trade I'll just close the trade with 9% profit you get I love risk scale 1% there and literally this trade just took one day for you to get nine percent if you're an irix person like me so we we'll keep on moving with this validation now this old stuff that played out that played out here we're able to validate that this zone has been tested so it's it can stay so i'll show you another scenario this one now see you observe there's no like weak so you just ignore it this one now there's weak see what price is doing see like it's just so beautiful it's just so beautiful uh -huh. i just have to like mark it well uh -huh. it's this small space okay yes it's okay then if you observe again yeah price touched then gave us engulfing you can enter right away get you can enter right away but this time you get stopped out because of my tight stop loss it's just a test starting but me basically yeah once there's like a zone at the top yeah, and price does not get to touch that zone price does not get to touch that zone i don't take on i don't take a trade again on this zone i just wait and see how price works out like plays out you get that's the beauty of this strategy i just have to like see how price plays out but assuming price came here maybe it did not give us like an entry it did not validate it's cut it broke everything then price came back here i would have anticipated like another entry you get so that being said, not that it would not move or it would move, but most times it would not like be meaningful. The move would not really like give you anything. It would just be all shoppy and the rest. And nobody wants to like be in the shopping market. So let's just keep on moving. You see? Price was just moving. Price was just moving. Just keep on looking. Then you see. See what I told you now. Because of as immediately, because I've seen this thing like play out time without numbers like back to back back to back once price does not touch that nearest zone i just anticipate that the next touch is coming to do at the opposite zone like price did not touch this resistance so i'm just anticipating that the next activity that price is coming to do here in this support it's not to be trusted it would not really last let's just see then price broke i don't trade break and retest on this strategy so we just leave it so leave it see this new support forms now since price broke this up now i'll take it out but remember price have not really like tested this zone so we just keep on watching see this zone now price is coming to test okay okay you see it this is the stuff before uh, a pullback before a pullback you see price touched it and gave us a pin bar i would have entered here no lies and stop loss it i would have entered there like there's no i would have not even like hesitated i would 
I've gone in with my 10 peeps expecting to get expecting to get like 24 percent you see price took us out but if you observe assuming maybe this price took us out maybe this candlestick did not like form as a pin banner uh -huh. like the rejection here was not much as mean it was not it was it closed around here and this second candlestick now closed outside this zone automatically i know that this zone has been invalidated like it's invalid now like it's invalid so but he gave us like an entry before this move so we took the loss so we got nine percent in that last um attempt then this attempt now we got minus one percent then because of that this zone is invalid so i did it so i meant to like mark check on the four hours then i will now mark a new zone from the four hours because of this new low that 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 is formed you get because of this new load that were formed now, I would mark it out. But from the four hours, but we're not going to be doing that now. I just want to like show you the whole idea behind this strategy. Then remember, this is the second touch that we're anticipating on this trend line, on this resistance. So let's see how it plays out. If it stays or it goes, that's where you keep on adjusting. You'll be adjusting. You'll be adjusting then see price Ooh. before you see a major pullback was here so mark from here to here from here to here that's a major pullback hope oh, i just the stuff to here uh -huh. so you see so what price is about to like play out here up down you get up to test that zone then it will now like come down that's what we're anticipating you get so for me now automatically price came back it touched it touched here and it touched here again i might not end i'll not enter on this candlestick but i'll enter on this candlestick so let's play it out the reason why i'm carrying you like literally through all these processes so that you would be aware that yes it's not an only gray but we know for a fact that it works like out of 10 times you can literally get like four to five we but with the risk to reward is just mad like now we would have been expecting more than 10 reward on this as mean this stuff played out but it took us out you get so automatically this zone gets invalid like as prices keep on moving you'll be marking out new zones okay let's switch to the four hours let me mark a zone out there now so immediately price did that stuff okay immediately price destroyed this guy here you get there's open a zone around you okay i believe we marked it immediately price destroyed this zone here this one so yeah. then this is a major pullback now we we'll mark here this is the new zone now yes, it would have marked here but the candlestick closed outside so we'll mark here you can see it now now that price broke this up one or have deleted it price have not really created so then price gave us this guy because of see this pullback here see this pullback price gave us this guy 
then we'll switch to the 30 minutes to like validate that line like it's really not stressful it's really not stressful because it's just something you do and relax you do and relax that's why i like it like i've been really busy to like be checking the shots always i've been really busy so i find i later discovered i found myself using more of this strategy because i've been busy to be to even have that time to look at the shots and stuff like that so i'm like hmm, since this stuff works why don't i just like add it to like as a bonus to my mentorship you get so mm, mm, looking at here now on the second touch on the second attempt price is testing this place now you see price went there there was a pullback uh, we'll mark the zone we literally forgot to like use rsi to validate that those like the two previous losses we had so like most of these things work but you just have to wait you would wait tell yourself i will do it i will do it if i don't wait market would make mess of me that's just the secret like if you don't wait the market would make mess of you you see now this is the week now that formed price got here came back price is testing here again let's check our rsi if it shows you see you see the rsi validates it that's all see you we're about to like take off nope not from there we're about to like take off like guys you mean try and the week now did not like break this week did not like pass this week i would have used the body but since the week passed i would use the week so as we have validated that oh there's a diversion there's divergence there we talked about divergence in the previous strategy so it's literally to tell that oh um, i'm the originator of this stuff because i can just sit look at the charts start spotting out patterns like it's yours with me already so like i'm used to doing it already so if you can observe now price came it touched no, we would now like anticipate like a sell. Uh, well, you don't really have to be like me, though. You can expand your stop loss, but me, I like using it and it has been working for me. I love if I'm in a trade, I don't get to like ponder on it too much. Then, because for a fact that I know that see you, if I ponder on that trade too much, I would it would affect my psychology. So I don't really like want to like bother much. So I love for a fact that if I'm in a trade, if the market wants to like get me out just get me out and let me be that kind of thing so from here now you can observe that funny enough i took this trade i took this trade i took this trade on in january but my personal account i did not do it in investors account i took this trade my personal account i make use of zero spread like zero spread but they used to like charge me stupid commission that's why i did not like get stopped out from this close interaction with the market so uh this thing observe now we are we got to like break even here yeah? accepting loss in this business is like one of the best thing you can do for yourself i swear now so sorry for using the swear word see now price broke this point and it closed outside twice so we can literally break even and wash out for what like price would do you can see now 
can see. Oh, where is that trade? Okay. Okay. So now, uh, where is it? So now, we are break even. You can see now. Then price did what it's known for. <laughs> price did what it's known for. So you can see. Oh, I don't know why this thing keeps on reacting. You can see now. Price already has given us 4.7 percent already. Before it like came back to eat my break even. This place I don't trail stop loss because I've been in a scenario whereby price moved later moved in my profits. Whereby what I trailed was about one percent. I like it got to me. It affected my psychology. So now I just leave it since it's it's a swing trade, long term trade. I just leave it to do what it wants to do. So switching back to the four hours I want to show you that oh yes we can we'll take out the way you you would literally progress using this strategy when you are trading the life market so now you can delete this so you guys after marking this zone it took one two three days to wait then you now waiting three days now Price now got to like do this stuff that it like try like take you out and break even. It's, I need to get to a lot of people's psychology. That's why I did not like I had to like introduce this stuff. I was having like double mind to like introduce this stuff. But I'm like since you already know the main strategy, you can use this one to complement. You don't always have to like be on the charts stuff like you don't always have to be trading you can do other things relating to trading like different like study observe the charts just for fun for the fun of it so you can now see now this zone got broken a low was formed here yeah. yes but we have not like validated it okay just to like not to key your time see a zone was formed here yeah. We can observe but normally you would not have seen this candlestick but i don't want these shots to be like all clumsy and the rest so now see this one again there's an invalidation there's an invalidation yeah let's go to the 30 minutes i don't want this video to be really long i don't like long videos i want it to be quick and snappy but i still at the same time i still want you guys to like grasp the concept well, I've been able to like secure nine percent, like ninety pips, and we've lost twenty pips. Mm -hmm. I'm saying maybe you're using like a broker that has spread. You'll still calculate this one as a loss. Uh -huh. But based on the fact that I trade this strategy on GBP USD only, that's why I can go one percent tricks. But if you want to try it on other markets like Euro USD and stuff like that if you want to try it on other market like euro usd uh, like other currency pairs you would have to like cut down your risks because now you are increasing your exposure since my exposure is low i'm not like really bothered but once you increase your exposure your psychology eh, would like it would tell on your psychology and you don't want to be trading when you are not thinking right you would lose your money, you would even blow your account if the third person. So over here now. Literally just the same it's just the same process. Nothing nothing new, nothing good. And don't get deceived by people you see online. That's why if you observe I don't post I don't like posting profits like that online. A lot of people online I really know what they say they are or like go into their personal trading journal you would really like you would be surprised i can see in this rejection candlestick but basically me i would not take this okay it's a new i thought it was a new week because of this gap but it was on tuesday and the next was when i would have taken it 
because I don't really like taking the tray that market close. So immediately I go in, my 10 pips activated, then I'll now start monitoring the trade. We could have to use like RSI to validate, you see. Okay. You see now, RSI said did not even validate this entry. It gave us this entry around here. You see, it gave us this entry. He gave us the entry around here so like just keep on watching keep on watching and i would have not have gone into this trade the body is too big and i did not i don't like this candlestick i don't trade that candlestick so this one automatically we miss we dodge the bomb the time bomb so i deleted that I had to delete that um, that resistance. It did not play out. Then let's get to here now. See the one we marked here from the four hours. Then observe. Okay, this is the first touch. Uh -huh. we'll mark it out. Based on okay, I'll oh, explain something here again. You see. This one now, I still, I would still pinpoint this place as my point of interest. I don't care what price it does. That's the kind of person I am. Instead, I will go and look for other shots to like trade. But based on the fact that I've been busy, so I don't really have that time to like be looking at other pairs. But if you observe. To tell you all this stuff the concrete if you observe where it's got in here again uh, and stuff like that but we're meant to mark a new zone around here 240 leave it and there's, there's meant to like be a zone around yeah yeah around here Remember what I told you, as far as the candlestick did not close, you would mark that first week. But it got invalidated here. Yeah. Well, let's try something out. Tati. Just keep on trying. Trying. Before you know, you get like another winning trade. Like, literally. I wanted to show you guys like a sell trade. Before like i call it like a close i don't want this stuff to really go much on us okay a lot of things here are clumsy i don't really like clumsy shots just like saying let me relabel all these things again <laughs> If you see my this thing, uh, my main shot, you just, your mouth will like literally wide open. So this is the new zone, like price drove from it. Like this is the reason why we marked it initially. So that's, oh, we're waiting for price here. Yeah? You see how price got to this place. It will give me more confidence in this zone. You are seeing it. It will give me more confidence. Forget that this zone now did not pick me up. But it will not give me more confidence that this zone is solid. Like it's solid. So as far as got here now, I would mark it out one. So yeah. But on the retest, you see, price did not get to like reach this place. So I'll be skeptical. Uh, ah, yo. This would not work. That's when price broke it just so beautiful then price now came to like test here again okay this shot is nice price came to like test here on the first account then see see what price did it touched massive pullback we check for divergence the divergence work yes it played 
no, divergence did not play because if you mark your divergence now anyhow you want to mark it it's not just it's the lines are literally the way i observe my divergence is that from here to here divergence like if we go back to our previous marking now let me just get the, show you the easiest way i get my divergence and i don't let it confuse me like if you can see if we get to extend this line now okay based on the fact that they are not on the same shot it would not touch but if we get to extend it towards the left and we get to extend this one towards the left also they would meet there will be an interception you get that's this is the divergence when i'm looking for sell but when i'm looking for buy this is the divergence you get when i'm looking for buy this is the divergence i wash out the way i want i would want the line to be like the this will up line now is the line in the shots and this is the line in the rsi you get so this is what i'm trying to explain to you this video is getting really long i don't really like it but it's a price you have to pay for money your time uh, everything is now like the social media that they add to like they would have to like make everything quick and snappy and stuff like that no? sometimes you you see what i'm telling you now so if i extend this divergence line now down and i extend this one now up there will be an interception but observe what's played out here what we had to reject that first attempt they if i extend this line both to left and right and this one both to left and right are parallel to each other they would never touch you get it. so we we'll delete it and we we'll delete it so we'll look on to like this second guy the divergence happen one so there's high probability of it happening here but i don't really like the candlestick that is forming there i don't like it so i wouldn't have entered but divergence showed a lot of people would have used this engulfing but there's something i do don't worry i'll show you my main chart there's something i do but observing the chart now i wouldn't have gone in at this point the price again came back to like test here this is where i would have come in and the divergence worked it worked so like from here let's mark it out okay from the body down here Yeah. You see, if you might be looking at it that oh, this stuff did not like touch through and stuff like that. It's not like it's not like it's almost straight. But if you keep on looking at this thing, you would find out like slants. Some of this, like if you look at it now, they are like identical lines. But once you keep on extending this in the old touch, you get they'll definitely touch. They're pointing downwards. They're pointing downwards. So immediately it confirms. See this rejection. Lovely. Touch. I mean sell. Uh -huh. So since I've shown you like we have seen like a sell scenario play out. I doubt if I'll be showing you my chart because I know I would have to like explain a lot of things. So let's keep this. So this is the first zone. We wait for like price to close twice. This is the first no. 
this is the first candlestick that closed this is the second so at this point now we would have broken even where's our point of interest let me get it from four hours two four zero that's just the beauty of this strategy you might try five times out of that five times you'll get to take profit and from that to take profits you are good like you are good to go probably would we'll be, we'll be watching this place like see how it goes here yeah. see how it goes here yeah. if since this second leg has not been like verified since this second leg has, you know since this second leg has not been verified the second touch Since the second touch has not been verified, ah, you don't even have to fear, like just be enjoying your trade and be going. You don't be scared. I saw that second line, like the line it's approaching has not been tested. Don't even stress yourself. So coming here now, you would realize that see a lot of out a lot of people would have kept their take profits here yeah? it's good it still it will gi it still give you 12 percent profit or whatever way you calculate you whatever which you are using because me i basically use one percent tricks see what would now happen now you are seeing it now see what would happen price got here he did not touch price got here he touched then this is the zone now then i'm touching now we did not see like a major like price coming back here you get so price now have already made attempts now to touch this top yes, isn't it? it has already made attempt to touch this top but it did not touch so that means this that means this line now this support now is there's doubt around it that it would there's high probability that it would not hold so we'll be expecting this place to break so you just leave it open you get we'll be expecting it to break you can close you can take profit at this support or you can just leave your trade open like that just put your stop loss at break even then we'll switch back to the four hours again to find our potential S and take profit the next zone i'll try is this place this price point Let's see like that's just the beauty of it and the, like it's just so funny because you can keep on going there eh? sometimes this thing will just like it will just literally give you peeps that you'll be like what what have i been doing wrong all my life that's why i'm like I would have to show you guys this stuff until like I would have to show you guys this stuff so that maybe whenever you feel like you're ready you can start using it so automatically now we're waiting for a second touch of this one you see, like why we are waiting for it you can see that see what price did. price did not even come here to play it came here and it scattered everything so immediately price have broken this zone now we would move our stop loss now to this zone this place here that's in this is the trailing now that's what we're doing but it's like it's trading in the zone you get this is literally the whole concept this is literally the whole concept behind trading in the zone you get so we will now move our stop loss here so automatically we have locked in 12 percent and the price now is currently at 23 percent you get i did not show you guys this strategy to go and be using your props firm challenges this strategy basically is mainly for like personal accounts if you want to grow like your personal account you get your personal money or maybe you are offering like a copy trading service you can use this one like place the trade and relax you get they will not switch to four hours again 
like it's just so beautiful because price now broke that zone we know it would not hold what do we wash out for again this is our zone here yeah. that's what we would wash out for let's see what price did you see like it's just so beautiful it will keep on playing 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 it will play on play on play on play on play on play on like you would even get tired you are saying no? like me literally yeah. if i see at this point now i would know that yes anything that makes me to like keep holding is just me being wanting to be greedy you can literally get one two one two um this thing one two fifty five weeks to reward with this strategy you see our price came to this our break our uh, stop loss that we moved it came to this point now but it did not touch here that's another indication that this zone safe is not even meant to be existing because price now came back try to touch the zone above it it did not then it will just scatter it immediately so we we'll have to delete it they will now go back to this place to see what price did here i actually had two entries i had two entries in this trade i'll show you in my main chart but i'm not explaining anything in my main chart i would not tell you the reason why i had that second entry yeah. i'll not tell you the reason why i had that second entry because it's another concept on its own like it's just there you you would see the money let's move to like 30 minutes let's check this let's validate this stuff to see if it's meaningful or not like this thing keeps on playing like it will play it will play it will play it will play play it will, like it will play out imagine you making 55 percent within how many months let me check the duration it's from january placing this trade in january 30th the whole of february you are still on the trade then you got out of the trade in March. You use a whole one month. The beauty of catching beautiful trades. Then on getting to this place now. I would have still expected more draw, but that's just me wanting to be greedy. You get. So price down came here. Where was it? Before its major pullback. I would literally this it before it's major pullback. This one is just like little ghosted. We need major pullbacks. This is the major pullback now. So we'll mark out this one. Like it's just so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. You keep on seeing it. Playing over and 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 over again. Okay. Yeah now. This there's something I want to show you here now. In this in scenario like this, maybe price from up comes and things just touch your zone and it's leaving and you're suspecting that ah this thing the way it's moving it would not come back here again. What do you do? And you have verified from your RSI that ah this place is valid though. Divergence really happens. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it price broke but RSI did not let's mark it out so you will see you see so it won't be around here so and let's just keep it neat so we would now use okay weeks that's what we are using if you are going to use week in this candlestick you would use week in the other candlestick if you are going to use body in this candlestick you would use body in the other candlestick you get the logic so immediately i see this thing now i cannot enter because i know my stop loss is very tight you get so i would pull out my fibonacci tool uh, powerful tool then would first the first point would touch here they would extend it to the highest point yeah 
then immediately we extend it to the highest point what we start washing out for this zone here from 60 price points and I'm not meant to introduce this tool to you to confuse you if you don't really know what you're doing so if to me for now if you see trades like this just ignore it don't stress yourself you don't get to cash it's a must to cash all the moves you get it's a must to cash all the moves let me see let me see okay i accidentally like changed the shots without knowing okay so these are the most that you cash out the moves funny enough so i would not really advise you to start pulling out your fibonacci too but this stuff that happened here now is a validation that yes at this point we can boldly say that this zone is valid you get it's valid that's why sometimes you'll see like price close like price you'll be like but price has broken this zone now huh? why is this guy still buying you get like for some people that send screenshots of their entries online you'll be like but price broke this zone why is this guy still planning to buy we see different things these are patterns you would look at the charts until you understand the way quantitative reasoning is back then in secondary school like in primary school that you would you would not know you would have no clue but you just be looking at the numbers be calculating in your head before you know you would understand it that's the grace so if i was the one now looking at the trade but don't stress yourself just stick to the simple concept whenever it gives you food you eat and make sure you eat enough you get so at this point now i, I was expecting like price to like get here i'll be expecting price to get to this place now well price did not touch it so i'll just let it be well, price moved and moved and moved and moved it kept on moving so that being said so that's how we're able to like like close on a 1 to 50 weeks to reward why like a lot of people will be telling you things like this stories like this that oh it's possible it's possible believe we just kept this straight for a month a month and some days just believe like that month and days now day traders most day traders will be losing inside all these small small things it's their money that you are gathering as they are losing you are gathering their money as they are losing you are gathering their money in your main strategy in the month of february using the main strategy i did not take up to six trades that means i did not risk up to six percent using my main strategy you get but i was still profitable why the swing gave me still gave me profit like nice profit so it's just beautiful let's switch let me show you that particular trade now in my main shot you can see my main shot it's just a beautiful piece of art <laughs> yes i love what i do <laughs> it's just so beautiful <laughs> if if i get to like explain most of what this thing say you'll be like the, what, what's this guy doing what's this guy doing like just so nice okay yes this is the trade here yeah. this is the trade this is the trade okay yes i did not use i did not use double entry i remember i was meant to but i did not use double entry what got me distracted eh, was this long candlestick you saw what I was trying to do with the Fibonacci there to know I would enter again because I thought like price has left me behind I use all this stuff a lot 
you should observe these boxes are boxes for my main strategy like my conservative daily trading uh -huh. you see this is the same thing that played out yes and but now i brought out the fibonacci too you can see it now but the way price react entered i just had to like wait then i saw price again moving this funny i'm like no then i saw this thing that's what literally gave me my entry but based on the fact that i was not scared of my entry because i did not really get in around here i had to increase my stop loss to 20 pips and i had to use so um i still had to use one percent but now you know the risk to reward will be shortened so that's how i got in here as i saw this like pull back but i was scared you get that's why i had to like push my take profit to 20 pips i just had to like push it to this thing to one side so that it does not distort my shots because i i just i use one shot to trade three different trading concepts and to a lot of people it will be chaotic but to me i understand what i'm doing like on seeing these two boxes if you are done watching the main strategy on seeing these two boxes there was no trade uh, for the day for that day but i've already entered on something like i just did the shield so that is it okay see my uh, expectation for the week i would have to show you my main odds i would have to show you my main you see you see what i'm doing four hours on four hours on. like you just have to like it's just so beautiful this is four hours soon then there's something i do use fib zone but that one is another concept so having me having like this four hour zone and the fib zone fibonacci zone at the same point ah i just can't wait for the market to open and it's just so beautiful it's just so beautiful but something that you will take note of here yeah? if price gets to like like maybe on a new week like in a new week that market open in it for a new week that means on sunday night if there's a gap let me say maybe candlestick closed there then the market started from somewhere around here you get i don't take trade for the whole of that monday because it has happened back 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 whenever i take trades when there's a gap it always runs for my stop loss and that zone might not hold so i have to keep i would have to wait to see that price opens properly and you would have to like check look at it in the four hours take note of the gap in the four hours because sometimes there'll be no gap in the four hours but if you look at the 30 minutes or if you look at the 15 minutes or five minutes for example now you'll be seeing gap it will happen you know I, I i this strategy now i make use of four hours and 30 minutes my main conservative strategy i make use of 15 minutes and five minutes so i'm always in different time frame you get so that's just it this was the trade we caught like one trade around here doing the um, this thing last week to that very top using that same strategy we had two losses in this stuff uh, we had two losses in the main strategy like in our main stuff now okay but the trade that gave me that like profit for last week this is the trade it was not like this main strategy so that's basically that i don't want to like go into much again i believe you are good you keep on pushing so our speculations for the coming week is that we're expecting price to like bang off like move upwards and since there's no major zone on the at the top I marked this place initially 
I marked this place initially as a zone, but Price did not respect it, so I had to delete it. So let's move to the 30 minutes why I had to delete that stuff now. On the first attempt, this was it. This was the zone we were washing. This was the zone we were washing. I was expecting like massive fall as the minute it happened. But since it did not happen, I was just like at peace. See the zone we were washing. Then see the pull back. Then see price now. First attempt broke it. I'm like, which kind of zone be this? This zone now is invalid. So if if we would have to like mark another zone now. So if price gets to like let me use my main chart. So if price gets to like break this guy now, like if price gets to like push up, you see where I mark my chart now. Four hours zone, first touch. Four hours on 2022, like all the way back, we take note of zones. There will still be more up and down in my main shot. That's why I'm like, there's no way I can like delete all these things just to use this particular shot for you guys, because this stuff contains a lot of details. So this trade now, eh, I'm observing it for this first touch. I was meant to put it here. So not even DSF. Yeah. So for this first touch. So for this first touch now, you see, we are waiting for to see what price will do there. Then see this one now. We we'll have to make use of this guy. So if price gets to like push us up you see the reason why I've not deleted this zone yet so if price gets to like push us up there's high probability that price would not retrace from here there's high probability that price would break here so that's what we're just watching out for the coming week like I would enter the trade definitely I'll enter the trade and, and same thing is meant to like play in Euro USD also. So it's bullish, bullish. I know you don't get to like see this stuff, but anyhow, wish you all the best. <laughs> so that just it for that. We just pray it moves in our favor, but if it takes us out, we we'll sit and wait for the next trade. Like it's just so beautiful. Trading the right way is peaceful and it's calm. So that's it for that. I'm sorry for confusing you with this whole idea from my chat. You get, but that's just the old strategy. Remember, if there's a gap, you don't trade that. Like if there's a gap from the four hours, maybe like something like this now. If you don't know what a gap is, something like this now. This candlestick now. This candlestick now is meant to start from here you get but now there's if it's the ICT boy it's not I'll call it inefficiency <laughs> <laughs> the price will be like you see there's a gap there no no candlestick there there's there's meant to be like body of candlestick so as you mean this was a Monday now I'm not trading that Monday I'll start looking for my parameters from on Tuesday you get so that's it for that. I hope you are enjoying your the journey so far. And like literally, I'll just have to tell you: don't give up. Keep on pushing. You might not get it on the first trial, but just keep on pushing. Dedicate like six months to it. Dedicate like six months to the training. Dedicate like six months to practice. Get a demo account. Practice properly. Grow it. Treat it like a life account. You don't see a doctor learning is line of work on re human being you get they would have to teach them first with diagrams then they would now give them cadavers to teach them with 
then after giving them that cadavers to teach them with then before they will not be under somebody's like a superior supervisor to examine them when they are doing an operation you get before they'll be left alone as a specialist in that field you get so how does it relate to trading now i'm showing you the charts this is the theory aspect the practical aspect now is that you are meant to be trading like in a demo account then but basically i'm meant to like be observing you watch it like your growth literally so you can be dropping your growth your progress and your shots you can be dropping it in my dm i'll be observing your growth then you will now fund like a life account you would let me know i'll be observing you you're guiding you before you can now term yourself a specialist in the trading field you get so that's all for now enjoy the rest of your day but as long as you are part of this mentorship well whenever there's an update to anything or let you you literally have access to it free of charge and stuff like it and stuff like that it's a one-time fee so and for the end of the software i'm doing i keep on increasing the price as people start coming so so whatever price points you get to get the course just enjoy that's just literally like it has it's more than the monetary value that's why i'm just having fun with it because if i'm just like using the shots pattern now if okay like that if i buy uh gbp uh, pounds now if i keep on buying pounds the value keeps increasing now if i keep on buying pounds the value keeps increasing the value keeps increasing people are getting in at various price points you get but once nobody's buying it the price keeps reducing but since people are getting it the value will keep on increasing until nobody would want to get to them to just be there i would literally don't i don't want to like stress much i have like a target of persons i'm watching out for before i literally like end the sales of this mentorship and push it to like private for life so have a nice life bye bye Link it. Comment section. Yeah.